There we go. That actually worked. So these should shut off. And now we're reset. So at this point, the whole system is charged. We can actually see what our battery is putting out right now. So remember, the reset button on this can be controlled remotely. So at this point, if I hit the reset, Awesome. Now, I need to get on the back side of this thing and I need to hot glue every single one of those connectors so it will never move again. And then figure out a way to mount that. And then we'll take it outside and John can pretend that he likes to drag race. <laughs> Alpha test in shaded light for maximum visual. We're hooked up to just a lawn tractor battery right now on 12 volts. We're going to try this afterwards facing with the sun going into it to see if we can still see it. So remember the reset button is going to be on a remote trigger in the next version. Trying to do a racing tree, so I was a little delayed. Okay, test cycling at, with Jesse standing where we usually launch tractors from. All right, we're going to shift it so that the sun is going into the lights in order to see whether we can still see it. Facing into the light, testing for being able to see it. Here we go. Okay, let's have you pull up into here. Still recording. Okay. So retesting again at the distance that we launched from at the lawn tractor drag races. Alright, so the notable thing here is that I'm going to include all of the homebrew film of attempting to build this thing right now. We tested this on a booster pack putting out 16 volts. They definitely are a lot brighter on a hot wired booster pack as a side note. And the Arduino runs the USB and everything just fine on the 16 volt setup. Um, so we're going to include that in the description of the video. I will be including all of the code that I wrote to get to this point, <laughs> along with a list of everything that is bought to do this. So you guys can follow along as I'm building this unit if you'd like to build one at this stage yourself. Hot wired 16 volts out of the booster pack. Testing. Side project, currently learning how to Arduino here. And this is what John and I have been working on. Whoa, almost lost it. Don't lose it. All right, here we go. All right, plug it in, and what we should see is the lights go down through right there, and then the green. So this is our test to see if the relays work. No, um, relay never shut off again. You, go back to the drawing board. <laughs> Arduino learning experience, lesson learned. Solid state, only good for controlling 110 volt items. Mechanical relay, used for controlling 12 volt items. 
So it's been a couple of weeks. Ordered up one of these. Now continuing with the project. Sorry for the lighting. The camera doesn't particularly like the screens here. So white is supposed to stay on for a little bit. Then it's supposed to flash down through and hold the green. So what we have are relays that should work with 12 volts. So white, yellow, 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 green, and there's a corresponding LED on this side. So if we hit the reset button, and this should stay on for five seconds and then shut off. And there it goes. So now we need to figure out all of this connection to this and we can test it. All right, so learning experience 101. LEDs are directional, which means if I take this green wire and I hit it, we've got light. But if I take this white wire and I hit it, we got nothing. So if I reverse it so that the black wire is going to red and the white wire is going to black, we have light. I now have to redo all of my grounding wiring because I have them backwards. Yay. Arduino racing light controller relay test, I don't even know anymore. So what we're trying right now is we've got a Chinesium booster pack. We've got a 12 volt out. We've got a USB out. I've discovered this isn't going to work because the Arduino doesn't actually pull enough amperage to keep this triggered in the on position. Um, side note, if you're ever trying to use one of these plugs for like a pump or something for an air mattress, plug your cell phone into this in order to keep this initialized. On this end, we've got positive coming into the center. We've got the positive going out to our testing light. We've got our ground connected directly. These relays are designed to be working on the positive side. So center positive, outgoing positive, negative. So now if we tap this, we'll see that initialize. We'll see it count down through. And there's our green light for go. Now we just got to scale it up to the rest of them. Yay. Take one on seeing if this works with relays in the back. We've got alligators coming to negative and positive. Negative and positive is running into this circuit here in order to have USB out. Our 12 volt, which is going to the relays in the back and an on-off switch. Now the whole point of using the Arduino is that we should be able to wire a remote trigger into the reset button. So let's power this up and see if it cycles. Whoa. Um, that's backwards. Oops. All right, so this is the way it should be wired. We should have power coming in on this side and outgoing on this side, and this is how I had it wired. So I need to flip that wire over to the other side to make it work. All right, Arduino racing light, take two, with relays going the right direction, hopefully. There we go. That actually works, so these should shut off. And now we're reset. So at this point, the whole system is charged. We can actually see what our battery is putting out right now. So remember, the reset button on this can be controlled remotely. So at this point, if I hit the reset, awesome. Now, I need to get on the back side of this thing and I need to hot glue every single one of those connectors so it will never move again. And then figure out a way to mount that. And then we'll take it outside and John can pretend that he likes to drag race.
<laughs> Whether you're racing a mini bike or a dragster like this, whether it's motorbikes, I don't care. Being able to throw that timing tree out there, run your races, get it in, and not have to spend thousands of dollars, that was the point of this project, and it is the point of how this project intends to continue. My goal was to build a sub $100 racing tree that anybody could build with minimum knowledge on how an Arduino works. I started this project with zero, absolutely zero knowledge on programming Arduinos. I learned everything, taught myself using the Arduino's website and modifying code from there. You guys luckily don't have to go through all of that headache, although I would totally state that you should work on the LED lighting Arduino setups that the kit starts you out with because it'll teach you how to set up delay timing in order to change these lights so that they go off at the rate that you would prefer. In the description, the code will exist at the very bottom. The rest of the description will be a link to everything I used in the final product that I built for the start of this video. In future videos, we will be working on a wireless remote control and we will be working on a plug-in wired push button remote control, depending on what you want for your circumstance. Otherwise than that, thank you very much for supporting us. Thank you for passing this around. Share it to all your friends that want to go drag racing and needed a setup. And we'll keep building bigger and better versions.